Lee Mingi is a famous South Korean actor, model, and singer, who first gained popularity on television in romantic comedies Love Truly. He's also known for playing popular dramas like Because This Is My First Life and The Beauty Inside. The actor stands tall at a height of 1.83 meters, 6 feet, with a body mass of around 68 kilograms, 150 pounds. He has a muscular physique along with natural black hair with dark brown eyes. These are 10 things you should know about actor E. Mingi. He is mistaken for footballer with same name. E. Mingi was born on January 16, 1985, in Gimei, South Korea. The actor shares the exact same name with the national footballer of South Korea, and they're mistaken for each other all the time despite looking entirely different. He was originally offered the lead role in Reply 1997. The actor was offered a lead role in Reply 1997, which is one of the highest-rated Korean dramas in cable television history. It centers on the lives of six friends in Busan, as the timeline moves back and forth. The producer of the hit drama revealed, initially, I had E. Mingi in mind for the lead of Reply 1997. He's from Busan, and at the time he has never really fully shown himself on romance, so I thought it would be impactful. There was a time when the script was written with the name Mingi instead of the character Yoon Jae. However, the actor turned it down and the role of Yoon Yoon Jae was given to singer-actor So In Gook. He hadn't had much interest in thrillers before his role in The Lies Within. After filming The Beauty Inside, he did some work for the DVD production, and then he went on a vacation to a little island by himself. He then received the offer for The Lies Within early on, so he couldn't do any other work. Taking on his first role in a thriller drama, the actor expressed his own curiosity during an interview with Marie Claire. I hadn't had much interest in the thriller genre before that, so I studied it. To be honest, my character is not very special. But that's why I was drawn to it. Thrillers usually revolve around a case, but The Lies Within follows a case and draws attention towards the characters. While detectives in other shows or movies usually have special abilities, my character Joe Teshig is just regular. I liked seeing how an average person handles these cases. He shed 17 kilograms to portray killer and monster. E. Mingi appeared as a merciless, unpredictable serial killer who commits brutal murders for no reason in the 2014 movie Monster. The actor revealed the behind-the-scenes story of how he lost 17 kilograms, approximately 37.5 pounds, in order to best portray his character. He said, Taesu, my character, is very keen and edgy, so I thought it would be best to just be in the same state as the character than acting out the lines. I gained some weight and then lost 16 to 17 kilograms. My total body fat went down to 4% at one point. So I became very edgy. I thought it would help me to portray a killer naturally. The actor also underwent hard training for a scene where he exposed his entire backside. He had to lose weight and exercise in order to make his back thinner. He can't contain his laughter while filming a first kiss scene with Jong So Min. The actor starred in TVN's drama Because This Is My First Life as a quirky and apathetic computer designer who has bought an apartment and is in the process of paying off the mortgage. TVN released a behind-the-scenes clip of the much-anticipated episode where he and Jong So Min have their first kiss. The atmosphere was bright and cheerful, and they joked around with each other while waiting for the filming to start. Once the kiss scene started, Yi Mingi and Jong So Min tried to immerse themselves into their roles, but whenever they made eye contact, they ended up bursting into laughter. However, in the end, the two professionals managed to pull off the kiss scene without any laughing. A role he'd like to play in the future. For over 15 years of his acting career, he has starred in various roles, such as a bodyguard, a vocalist, a director, and a detective to name a few. In an interview with Dazed Korea magazine, he was asked if there's a certain role that he'd like to play in the future. He said, a role where my own self doesn't show. I want to fully immerse myself into the role with no sign of me at all. Military. As the majority of celebrities of South Korea do, the star has also been in the military and served his nation for about two years. He began his mandatory military service back on August 7, 2014, where he worked as a public service worker for 20 months. He was discharged from his military service in August 2016. Like most of the stars, he also chose to serve his nation in his late 20s. He even did it earlier than others because other people tend to do the service in their 30s after they make quite a career for themselves. He's very organized. 
Some people may not know that Yi Mingyi is a very organized person. Although he admits he wasn't like that back then, he is now more comfortable with some structure in his day. He explained to Marie Claire, when I was younger, whether I was awake, sleeping, or playing, it was all my personal time. However, one day I began to only feel balanced, if I was in a routine. Now I exercise every morning, and start my day with that good energy. After that is when I begin to do my other scheduled tasks. Even when I'm not working, I like to follow a routine. I feel at ease, if my day is organized. Before, I used to feel constricted by schedules, and felt stressed out because of rules. But now I enjoy having that kind of structure. He is a canine lover. The actor is an avid canine lover, and has a deep love for dogs and puppies. Whenever he gets a break from a shoot, he is seen grabbing his terrier and a black fur baby. If his pet dogs aren't around, he socializes with the ones that he can find. We can see a lot of pictures of him petting pooches and puppies from which we can say that he absolutely loves the best friend of humans. His ideal type. A few male celebrities in the Hallyu industry revealed before in the past regarding their ideal type. In an interview quoted by the site of Drama Beans, E. Mingyi once mentioned his ideal type. He confessed, I found myself wishing I was in a relationship with a woman in her mid-30s. Age doesn't really matter to me, 